Hey everybody, how's it going? In my opinion, this is one of the most underrated feminine fragrances and I love it so much. The word like is an understatement. It's called Meliora by Parfums de Marly. Now, I know a lot of people talk about Delina and I love Delina, right? But this to me is very neck and neck. When it comes to performance, then Delina wins out, right? But if you're somebody that wants like a juicy, fruity, fresh type of fragrance, something more on the fresh side, then I would a thousand percent ask you, not even ask you, I would recommend you check out Meliora. All right, so what does this smell like? It smells like red berries. There's black currant, which kind of smells like blackberries to my nose. There's also some ylang ylang, other florals like rose and Lily of the Valley, and then in the dry down, there's some musk with a touch of vanilla. But to be totally honest with you, the two or the three main notes that I really pick up with this fragrance are the red berries, the black currant, and the musk in the dry down. The other notes, they really kind of play second fiddle to the fragrance, but sometimes I don't even notice them because the berries of this fragrance really dominates, all right? So if you're a fan, of dark berry fragrances, red berry fragrances, please give this one a shot. The first time I smelled this a couple of years ago, I got, I actually bought a sample from Parfums de Marly and I was just taken with this fragrance. The kind of people I picture rocking this scent is just like a rich woman that owns a yacht. Like you're the fun aunt, you know what I'm saying? But don't think that this is limited to a certain type of age group or better suits an older demographic, you know what I mean? Because I feel like if you're in your 20s, maybe late teens, you know, yeah, late teens would rock this pretty nice, but I still think like 20s and up, this is a fabulous fragrance. And honestly, it does kind of smell like champagne. The more it wears like berries with some champagne, it's just this very luxurious, lux <laughs> luxurious, sophisticated, classy yet fun, type of fragrance if you've ever been to a wedding and the maid of honor or one of the bridesmaids is like you know working the tables and everyone for some reason at the end of the night knows her because she's super fun she's talking to everybody and when everyone's hung over the next day they can't stop talking about that girl because she was the life of the party now so helping out the bride not taking the shine but just you know what i mean like getting everybody involved all that sort of stuff that is Meliora. This is such a fun fragrance. This is a great scent to wear in the high heat. In fact, I got this bottle in today, but I am giving it to my sister just because she doesn't have a Parfums de Marly and she also did wear this the other time. Um, and this is definitely, it suits her style a lot more, but there's just something absolutely intoxicating about this fragrance. Whenever I smell it, I just can't help but smile. So she put a couple sprays of this scent, I think on her shirt today, and she's just been smelling so good. Like the wind was blowing and I'm like, damn, you smell so nice. So I already know she's gonna make this her signature scent and maybe I'll do a video with her so she could show you her fragrance collection. But I wanna talk about longevity with this scent because that's the only like Achilles heel of this fragrance. Now, I really feel like this is a fragrance you could smell like around the five hour mark, right? On skin, on clothes, this can push over six hours if you want it to. And the great thing about it is it's one of those fragrances that when you overspray it, it's not gonna get nauseating, especially if you're wearing this outdoors, you want it to last, it's not gonna be something that other people are gonna get irritated with because it's not trying to be super dominant but it's just floating around, wafting in the air. Now, my sister is somebody that is very sensitive to fragrances. It's easy for her to get migraines if something is too strong. So when she tried this fragrance today and a couple of years ago, it was a scent that was still kind of soft and subtle to her when she was wearing it, but I could smell it on her like a couple arms lengths away. If you're hearing screaming, it is, is not your child. <laughs> okay, just... Sorry about that, it's happening over here. But yeah, Meliora is a total winner. If you, ha after smelling the scent today, if you had to ask me if I prefer Delina or this one, oh shit, that's hard. 
Right now, I'm gonna go with this because this brought back a lot of memories and it's really warm where I live. Okay, I'm gonna close the window, I'm sorry. Jesus, man. <sighs> okay, so what was I saying? This fragrance, I can't remember what I was saying. Hold on, wait. Okay, shit, I forgot what I was saying. But no, it's a total winner. And if you want to talk about projection and scent trail, I did notice this from like a couple arms lengths away. But then it will, you know, the, as time kind of goes by, it'll get closer to your skin. But this is not something you have to worry about that's going to fill the whole entire room. It doesn't really leave much of a lingering scent trail. But if you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody and they kind of get a whiff of this, it's going to make them kind of intrigued and kind of pull them closer you know so this definitely has the mass appeal if you're somebody that wants a fragrance that is going to be highly complimented but you still want to rock a scent that the majority of people are not wearing so you still want to be different but smell the best right melior parfums the marley now i'm going to put the name of the fragrance discount site links and samples for global shipping all of that in the description if you want to save yourself some money and support the channel but please buy where you're comfortable all right thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye